general thing we know is that he's a fucking cunt. He is. <laughs> certainly. He is certainly a cunt. However, there is more to a personality than the fact that they act like a used vagina. Uh, the... I highly doubt it. Uh. The thugs are standing up and the man is on the ground, correct? Yes. They're just kicking him in the ribs in the face. And occasionally a couple of shots to the dick. Gentlemen, I can't help but notice the wonderful situation you've set up for me. They just turn and go, Oh, who the fuck are you? Why, hi, Ambassador Ritzian himself. You wanna get from the fucking ground, mate? How about, uh... You realize the situation you're in, the roles you should play, and, uh, get a run-along now. Because I am the savior, you're the villains. <laughs> that right there. <laughs> that right there is the victim. <laughs> I'm sorry, can you? Can Hold on. Can you <laughs> Did you just fucking say that? <laughs> yeah. That's going in quotes. That's going in clips, what do you mean? I'm fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to process what the fuck was just said. All right, all right. Uh, they just they they stare at you blankly for a second, and then they go, "What? Are you fucking dense?" Uh, no, no. I'm genuinely appreciative. Uh, he actually goes up and like uh, <laughs> reaches out to shake a hand. Like seriously, this is op opportune as well as uh, he taps him in the chest. Just like, like immediately duck. Whoa! All right. Well, uh, you made your decision. I'd like to cast shatter on both of them. Oh no! no. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet soul on the ground, if you can hear me, please cover your ears. Oh, wait, you play bagpipes. You'll be fine. <laughs> God damn. Wait, doesn't Shatter produce a massive noise that can be heard for like a hundred feet? It certainly feet? does. The, the noise is the damage. They immediately drop to the ground. Holding their ears, as you can see, light sloshes of blood coming out, and they begin screaming at the top of their lungs in agony, pain, and you're pretty sure one of them has just popped a boner. Oh. Well, that's Akira embarrassing. is about to, like, knock on the door to the Dwarven District when he just hears boom. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, knowing they can no longer hear him, uh, Ritzian, like, uh, bends down to the side of one and just, like, gives a shoe motion. Uh, they don't move. They're just on the ground, wailing in agony. Well, uh, don't forget how Ambassador Ritzian did this. <laughs> I, 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 I leave a calling card and I pick up the guy who was getting beat up on. I leave a calling card. I am the Phantom Fifth. <laughs> I am Batman. I shall leave Bat symbol in wall. I am I, le I am the Phantom Five. <laughs> Jesus. I am Ritzian man. I leave the Ritzian mark. <laughs> I am Ritz man. I leave Ritz crackers behind. <laughs> All shall fear my crunchy I leave powers. Ritz with a nice platter of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop here, my easy snack making powers. <laughs> he beats the shit out of them and then he leaves them a nice snack and helps, wishes them well on their recovery. <laughs> I mean, they've helped me out. I was genuine about the thanks. I am the gentleman villain. Let me get my tea. <laughs> gentleman hero, right here. Walk beats a shell them, then wishes them a nice day very politely. Walks he's I, I just imagine Ritzian has this unconscious half elf on his shoulder and is like just walking using his legs as the platter for his tea as he's sipping it. <laughs> quite have quite a lot of instruments on your side. Yeah, I'm a traveling musician by trade. 
that's not right. Did you yeah. play the VO by chance? The no. Oh, there we go. Found his token. I'm just gonna give you a good. If this wants to. There we go. Ooh, baby. <laughs> Ooh, baby. That's a good look at. It. Oh, gross. Uh, uh, outside the tavern. Eh. Uh, as you're walking back to the tavern, you hear the a gentle of the bagpipes begin to rev up. I, I leave. Faster. <laughs> I leave. Um. However, you do see a small crowd gathering around. Uh, the sound of bagpipes, and you hear the gentle tossing of coins. No way. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, so... Aw, oh, Ritzian made a friend that doesn't realize how shit he is. Uh, roll perception, Amate? I have a base of 15. Roll, per roll perception. Fuck you. Oh, you're fucking me. The drone of the bagpipes can be gently heard in the underground. How would a null respond to hearing such an ungodly instrument for the first time in its life? <laughs> it's so large that it's basically... I'm just going to draw what is essentially the outline of where the crowd is. Lord. It's almost as if the majority of the city is current, including the Undercity, is currently gathered to watch the sacrifice. You think that we could just step over them, right? The crowd is spanning such a massive scape. You are initially unable to find a way to get past even the bridge into the Central Religious District. But after some finesse, patience, and um, a cure being a stepping cure. over people... <laughs> You were able to get close enough to get a good enough. You were able to get a good enough view of the proceedings. Sliding your way almost to the front of the crowd, you see Sergio draped in a bright white tunic, carried between two temple guards wearing sanguine tabards over their usual uh, ritualistic armors. Surprisingly, there's no sign of abuse beyond what you had rendered during your fight. I wave and say hi, Sergi. He doesn't acknowledge you. Uh, the guards. Set him down at the steps of the ziggurat, and what the heck is happening here? After I've never heard of a sacrifice before, and after a, just a moment of hesitation, where he looks out amongst the crowd, he walks up. He begins to ascend the massive structure on his own. Waiting at the top is a figure cloaked in animal hide. He strides. He begins to stride down the steps to meet the dwarf. On your last day, you'll be washed of your sins and become the force to sustain these lands, young dwarf. As he gets closer, you can notice he is a, he is a rather meek chameleon man. He meets Sergio halfway and walks, whispering something in his ear as they finish ascending. When they get to the top, you can see him gesture to a massive stone slab in the center. His voice is somehow extremely soft and calming, yet... It booms throughout the entire city. As Sergio lays down, the chameleon man clears his throat and begins thusly. Sergio, you have been charged with smuggling, possession of legal substances, weaponry, theft of artifacts from the Seolian reliquary. To be frank, your legacy thus far has been one of terror and abuse, blowing up shops and tormenting my dwarven peoples. However, on your final day, you have elected to be the first living sacrifice of the Season of Harvests. A selfless choice. Any who have proceeded over the ritual knows the deep pain this man will soon go through. I can see inside your heart there is a fragmentary semblance of good. Every one of your men we captured said they have taken your place atop the ziggurat had we allowed them. And I cannot allow any to forget the entire town watch had seen you manage to go up in an explosion of smoke and gunpowder in the very center of the lava ways, yet somehow survive. 
Your captors, however, very scrawny, isn't were it? just as peculiar as you. He stops and turns outwards, walking to the front, walking to the top of the steps, and standing in front of the entire crowd. <clears> Hi, <throat> Ambassador Ritson. I offer you the honor of partaking in this sacred ritual. The entire fucking city erupts into whispers, angry shouts, and gossip. The the pompous I, I, fuck? I, I, Ritzian? I, 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 uh, as, I, 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 As you are attempting to process what happened, you feel a hand on your back shove you out of the way. <clears throat> Quiet yourselves, commoners! Walking past you with an unearned, unwarranted, unreal swagger is the man of the hour himself. The half-elf ambassador strides his way up the temple. The sun hits its epoch and washes out every color on the ziggurat, going from its usual green-gray to a shining white. A single beam of pure white shoots from the center of the temple into the sky. And then there's Ritzian. Does, does Ritzian have a hood? No. Or are Ritzian have a hood? Uh, I don't know. Uh, as soon as he'd hear that, he would shift his face to look like just <laughs> like it, it, this is just the point in where a, just in a panic, make him shift his face into uh, a Kears, just like out of panic. <laughs> <laughs> just, oh shit! Oh fuck! Oh, shit. <laughs> so a Kier is just gonna take whatever hood he has on him. I, he hopes. Do you have a hood, Ronnie? Uh, yeah, uh, just immediately, just immediately like, bring, like rips it. Over immediately your head. brings the hood up. Yeah, a Kier just rips the hood over your head. It's just like, yep, yep, this is fine. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> his garb goes from a deep royal purple to a shining blinding gold. The light seems to pierce and eliminate the darker colors of his clothing, leaving only its highlights and accents. He's not supposed to be here. Why is he here? He was supposed to just stay at the castle. Why is he here? As a sign of unity, and my thanks to one of such high office apprehending such a lowly criminal, Ritzian shall make the first incision upon Sergio's heart. He will bathe in the power of the god Shaka, just as the lands in my wait, clergy will. Wait, they're going to... Cut him up? Is that what the sacrifice is? I will share this euphoria as him, as I hope we share the euphoric peace we currently enjoy with the rest of the world. I will guide his hand just as he guide our policy towards his homeland. Wait, they're going to kill the guy to a god? That's a sacrifice? I impart what a tiny fuck? fraction of the shock of strength as he imparted a small fraction of his expertise in politique. The small unity we share today will eventually be the unity our land share with the elven forest retreats, the orc wastelands, and even one day the humans. Ritzian, as he reaches the top of the ziggurat, bows. It's oh, as damn. if the cl his as he gets close, his swagger, his pompous attitude just melts away. Uncharacteristically, he takes a single knee and only rises when he is told to. I accept the honor, my lord. Roll perception. I don't like yeah, this guy. immediately. That's a bit suspicious. Well, <laughs> not oh, like I passed him perception of 15. Ronnie is looking at the law going, hmm, this sure is a floor. <laughs> can I go with my, Mason, can my I head just go with my passive perception of 15? No, still roll. I mean, we'll t I'll take you whichever is higher, your passive or your roll. My passive is higher. My passive is also higher. What is your okay? So fifteen. What's your passive perception? You know, thirteen. Okay, so Akir's ears suddenly perk up as you overhear a man behind you murmur, "He's gonna pay it. He is. His entire god's busy back at the estate thanks to a little distraction. Have the man. He's swing. going what? What do you mean? Forgive me, but what is going on here, friend? This is the first time I've ever seen something like this. Ritzian unsheathed his rapier from his hip, glinting gold and silver in the apps in the almost unearthly light that is That's bathing an metal. everything around him. And he gently and gracefully 
just so, it, it's almost as if in the blink of an eye, his arm goes from a, a perch stance in front of him to all the way out as you see a single flick of blood that fly from the top of the ziggurat. Can I make a perception check to see his swordsmanship? Yes. In detail? Can I do it with advantage? Because I understand swordsmanship. Sure, I'll go for that. 23. We'll take the 23. Um, it It's almost unsettlingly clean. It's not... What he did is not a typical stroke with any weapon, but he has done it with an almost surgically unreal precision. He has a good blade arm. That's for sure. I cannot believe he got another one of those stupid rapiers. What are those rapiers? They're just decoration. They're not supposed to actually cut. Uh, Enchantments are a thing, you know. At this point, the Shaka walks over and he makes three very careful cuts. And this is a bit of barbaric, don't you think? And he, as he sheaths his dagger, he uh, like walks to the edge and outstretches arms. As the heart rises from his chest and its skin rends itself from his body, grab hold and allow the power to bathe you and our peoples. As if on cue, the temple guards and clergy begin an ominous chant. It doesn't just echo through the city, it fills every molecule of air with its presence. Gregorian chanting. Dodge, dodge. Kevin McLeod! My hero! Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> Fuck off! Kalima! Oh no! <laughs> the sun's light is no longer simply bathing the ziggurat. It seems as if it's a physical wall or presence. Sergio begins you know to slowly. Meme of a dog? Like seeing wars in Vietnam? Yes. That's just Akira's face right now. <laughs> Sergio begins to rise above the monolithic structure. The skin, a small, what is essentially a small square, rises out of his chest, and the skin separates itself layer by layer, gently levitating itself apart above him. His heart slides out from this, still connected to the veins, still beating in front of Ritzian. Each pulse spilling just a little bit of blood. Ritzian grabs hold of it. And at this point, Toll grabs his hand and lowers it into a basin of water and commands him with only one word. Brush. At which point, you hear the sickening splurge as just the entire fountain that's coming off the side of the ziggurat turns blood red and water begins to race not off of it but into the very soil the entire structure glows a sickly purple and over all of this you can see almost as if hovering in the sky behind some massive being appear and outstretch its arms as the vines around the city walls race skyward. The the massive on on cultured land suddenly begins to bloom. The body itself is flung from the top of the ziggurat, bouncing off of each and every single one of the stairs on its way down. And as it lands at the bottom. So a massive lizard beast about the size of four people stomps its way over and begins to just take the body up in one smooth motion, launching it into the sky, and then snapping it in half and feasting on the remains. The crowds begin to cheer. Paul, Paul himself takes Anita Ritzian and goes, I hope one day to share not just my power, but our very beings with your empire, Ritzian.
At which point, it seems as if Ritzian's essence has come back. He begins to turn his nose up as he looks at the blood on his hands. Somewhat deeply unsettled with what he's just done. And as the shouts and jeers die down, the ceremony concludes as the crowd slowly begins to dissipate. However, you still notice the figure hovering there as it gently glides down from what appears to be the sky itself. And it lands and exchanges some words with Toll before disappearing. And as it leaves, it seems to take the wall of the light from the sun itself with it. Akir's just still standing there looking up to where the figure once was. Just staring. However, your awe is interrupted. Part of his body walks right next to him. And all you see before you hear a sickening, shattering piercing noise is the man hold his hand out as a wave of force not only blows Ritzy in, but also the majority of the street and one of the nearby homes 40 feet through the air. Is this something I can stop? You are too far away. You only Did see it happen. And Was Akir, that loud? Yes. However, it is going to take Akir some time. Which point? I don't. I can see. Uh, this point right here. Uh, as he goes uh, with the cloak still over him, just going to uh, you know just uh, shift into the actual form of you know Ritzy and, and uh, say, "Oh, you fucking idiots! Look at you squirming! You don't even know where the real Ritzian is." What? What the fuck? That's a body <laughs> double, you idiots! Ugh, I'm going home. <laughs> roll, pers roll persuasion! Fucking roll persuasion! <laughs> this is deception! It's roll, de roll deception! Roll deception! What the fuck? <laughs> the fucking way! The luck! The fucking luck! Oh, God! <laughs> D20 plus two! Oh, my God! Yes! There's no fucking way. There's no fuck. No fucking way. Oh my god. There is no fucking way that just happened. <laughs> yes, there is. There's every way. I was waiting for that to happen. Oh. Actually, <laughs> I was honest to god waiting for it. Oh my god, I'm going. Home. <laughs> Screw you guys. I'm going. Guys, home. I'm going home. <laughs> I'm going fucking home. Eric Cartman did. <laughs> oh my god. He didn't even have to use bardic inspiration. Oh, oh lord uh, and then I'm gonna take off running <laughs> Just, I'm going home <laughs> uh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, that's my turn um I... oh and uh Fuck, why not? Uh, I'll, as I'm going, like, uh, just gonna give, like, a little snap and uh, finger guns over to Akir. Uh, you have part of inspiration. Happy birthday. At, at this Akira point... face palms. At this point, you see... You suddenly see a man in armor wielding a bow jump from the building... Uh, he, he jumps from this building, right? And he takes two shots at you as you run away. Oh lord, I buy. I won't Don't abide by your arrows. people continuing to breathe upon this earth if you allow these ruffians to escape. You see what they have to work with. And this is why you call your doppelganger, right? I whisper that one. He goes, if I must, I will apprehend them myself. Oh, really? With what swordsmanship and skill? Because currently you look like a piece of shit. I was surprised. Wow, you don't actually keep your guard up? Uh, what a shocker. So what the team? During this exchange, the warlock has been... He puts one... He puts... 
Uh. So as this is occurring, you suddenly see a very deep. What was that six? A very deep purple mist shroud the area. And let me spell my calculator. A deep purple mist? Uh, how much health do you have left, Abatek? Oh, I have 28. So, uh... At this point... You see the Warlock, real, the real Ritzian, the Archer, all fall unconscious. You also see your Bardic friend... Slide off the roof onto his ass. Who has also found himself completely unconscious. Uh oh. Is everything okay? So, Ritzian, did you put them to sleep? No! Not you, the other one! Uh, not the doppelganger, the actual Ritzian. Do you see his body kind of limply just slide off the roof? Oh, fuck. Uh, oh, fuck, I'll that's bad. Grab my javelin. Grab my javelin. I'm grabbing my javelins that I threw, by the way. Recollecting them real quickly. Also gonna wrench out the javelin out of this man's leg. Oh, uh, he already wrenched it out. Oh, cool. Ronnie, grab my javelins. Sure. Akira's going to grab his one better javelin that he missed with. Is it nearby, right? Did I narrowly miss it, or is it too far? Oh, no, you narrowly missed it. It's literally sitting like right there in the dirt. Yeah, I grab it, put it on my pack. I immediately pick up the unconscious Ritzian and our bardic friend. And it's time to run. We're getting the fuck out of here. People okay. are asleep. We don't know who it's from. We're getting out to run away. Yep. Uh, as as you're running away, uh, roll a strength check real quick. Me? Yes. Saving throw or? Uh, saving throw. Oh, fuck. As you're sprinting away, um... You have a de uh, bardic inspiration still. Oh, yeah, that's right. So I can reroll it? Yeah. Well, no, no, no. No, uh, you add you a D6. D6. So roll I, a D6. I didn't know what a bardic inspiration was. Sorry. Yes! <laughs> So, as you're running away, you feel something tug on Fosse, and at first it feels like a gentle tug, and the next thing you know, it's as if you're fighting the very air itself to stop from dropping him. But you oh, manage yeah, to hang on to him and just hoof it the fuck out of there. I'll be honest, this one has something pulling on him. Let's go, like let's, go let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, yes, we can agree, rats. By the way, rats, change your fate to someone else. Yes, yes, I uh, change and it. don't to... use mine. I change it to the guard guy. Uh, Ryan. Say Ron? Ryan. Ryan. Ryan was yeah. the guard guy. Ryan! Okay, let's get back to maybe the idea. I have idea. Okay, we go back to the elven quarters where Ryan was originally posted. It was in the foreign quarter, not the elven quarter. Foreign quarter, elven quarter, it doesn't fucking matter. Let's get out of here. I'm going to, while he's on, uh, our good friend here is back, uh, just kind of put all the hoods and things and covering bits over the real Ritzian's face. Um, so th this is, this is legit. I'm just, if, if you want a good representation of what just happened... Or just this, this is essentially what the fuck just happened. I feel like a bot he doesn't even have to open that link. He knows exactly what it is. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, yeah, I do know exactly what it is. And uh, at, at this point, uh, after about a block, the very strong presence that was trying to pull your bardic friend uh, disappears. You run into the foreign quarter, and uh, I'm assuming you immediately just book it into the first uh, alleyway you see? Oh, yes. Yes. I mean, you are turning some heads, you know, sprinting at top speed through the city, going a a about half a mile. But yes, no one yes, is yes. got the guts to stop you and ask what the hell you're doing. Not even the guards? None of the guards seem to want to look your way right now. Okay, so I'm going to stop right here. I'm just going to say, Oh, I am sorry for making you chase after me, guard, but they were just right there attacking Ritzy in here. I... I... I'm... Play along with it. Yep. Uh, this... Oh, it's... It's... Uh, nothing. It's... Uh... <laughs> sorry. It's of uh, it's fine. At this point, Ritzian wakes up and goes, "Uh, oh, you're is, finally away." Is that you, hyena man? Yes, yes, it is me. Uh, now, can that's... you stand, or do I have to carry you more? I would prefer you to stand. I, 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 I can manage on my own. Okay, perfect. I drop him. <laughs> Uh, he lands with a thud and he goes, that's not what I was expecting. Well, sorry, that was for the earlier insults. Uh, but, um, may I should get to the foreign quarter here? Um... He, he looks at foreign quarter? Uh, the peasantry is here. No, don't get on your antics now, because, um... I could smell the smoke from the Ambassador District. Your home is on fire. My what? Yes. And you're currently riddled through arrow holes, and you were attacked by an ambush, and then someone magically put almost everyone to sleep except for me. Uh, that isn't suspicious at all. Also, your doppelganger got away. I have double? Yes, your doppelganger was there, and he got away. There's no need to know about that. But this kind and friendly guard decided that he will chase us and ask what the hell is going on. Hello, guard. His home is on fire and we were attacked. Yes, hello. I'm the guard. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Ryan. My name's Ryan, what's up? Um... Did I fucking ask? No, sorry. Actually, would you like to help us? Oh yeah, so sure, I'd like to help you. everyone. Why do I feel like you're just doing that out of fear of me? I, I uh, nervous sweat looks down at uh, uh, <laughs> the lines. Also, this kind blind man actually saved your life a couple times. I, I'm still recovering from the fact that I was walking through the street and then suddenly I was in the air and then I was laid out on a roof. Yes, and now your home is on fire. Oh, dearie me. Perhaps that is the aspect of justice coming to right this reckoning. The aspect of justice? What the hell is the aspect of justice? Was that that thing we saw earlier at the ceremony? Mm -hmm. The ceremony? Oh. Um. He, he sits off and he's, uh, that ceremony was a blood sacrifice to the the Shaka God himself, that toll is a living embodiment of um, his lordship. Uh, he, he looks at me, did I just call a fuck? <clears throat> the local ruler here is... No, 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 don't do that on me. I like that other you much better. The local ruler of these lands is... No. A barbaric... No, 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 no. No. You speak proper, not like stuck-up cunt. 
Uh, All right, I already deal with enough nobility in my life. I don't need to deal with any more. They do a barbaric ritual that they sacrifice uh, a willing part. It must be willing uh, participant to ensure the harvest and to bless the lands and the people. And something happened because Sergio went from except accepting that he was going to be eaten by a uh, a T-Rex to suddenly demanding that he be the first willing sacrifice of the season. Um, I do not understand why I took part in the ritual, but it is... Well, that's you know. because I actually worked with your doppelganger for a little bit. So. No, I, you know, no, I, I understand why I was offered. I, I don't know why I have a doppelganger here, but at this point, I'm just willing to accept insanity because my senses and my refined taste were suddenly overcome as I trust a man's heart in my hands. Sir, yeah, it, I did you, like you that seemed place. a bit, like, possessed during the ritual. Was that... Were you okay? I, was, I don't know. I just suddenly figured I should go along because Toll seemed like such a nice fellow. Toll fellow seems very scary. He once he killed a scary. god with his own hands and then sacrificed a tenth of his lifespan to attempt to save the god. I don't know how I know this, but there's something very... he, Something about him is very terrifying yet eloquent and... It's... He's an enigma, my friend. Oh. Maybe one day I'll get to meet him. I'm friends with his archivist. The gnome? Yes, the gnome. Oh, God. So, Sir Ritzian, do you have, like, a vacation home or anything we can deliver you to? I, I believe it's on fire right now. A second oh. vacation home? I have a home. Or a safe house in case that this thing would happen. Uh it's the safe house was linked to the to the home. Uh it, that's not good planning. Well, the cavern it leads into is down in the dwarven quarter, but I I, I frankly don't quite understand what's going on. I'm just gonna wait. Well so after the sacrifice, a group of men decide that you're going to get what's coming to you, and they were going to murder you. That's what we know so far. And so far, we've kept you alive, even amidst your belating insults towards me and, oh, yeah. Could be less of a brute in our conversation. But, yes, uh, I do have another area that I can retreat to, but I will have to on my own as it is supposed to be uh oh, by all means i am only invested in taking care of the problem that currently threatens you i do not care where you hide or well the only thing i care about is you being alive so if you can make it there without dying then i'll let you go and take care of it good um oh one more thing the, the you asked about the aspect of justice? Yes. Uh, the Lady in the Flames, or the God of Justice, or just the Eternal Pyre is what the humans worship as our patron saint. Um, less ritualistic murder and more... Yes, that was a shock to even me. That's swimmingly terrifying. What? We don't kill people. We make offerings. Well, that... Ooh, water. We, well, we just offer service in our lives to the lady in the fire, and she keeps us safe, and she ensures that crime does not run rampant in our kingdom. Um, Occasionally, she appears, uh, sending what is known as an aspect. It's similar to what Toll is for the god of these lands, except... Hers always appear in bursts of flames and oftentimes murder everything they see that isn't a righteous, holy person. It sounds equally as bad. Well, yeah, semantics aside, um, oh, and my name? Uh, yes, uh, Akir, uh, I have heard the name. Good. Keep in mind, I'll take care of the problem for you. That's... 
and my employer's name is Atticus. Uh, is it the rat? Yes, the rat man from Seal. Is it the one that was the one with a bad drinking habit. The one that was drunkenly pestering me about a pamphlet. Ah, oh, that pamphlet. Yes. Of course you would be related to him. He's an interesting man. I'll be sure to. He literally led me here. I am his bodyguard. I will be sure to tell him that I am thankful when I regain my senses. But I've had an eventful day. I'm gonna go hide until something makes sense again. Oh, but of course. Thank God it. I don't even know what you know, but fuck it. Thank, thank you. I'm. I'm leaving now. Make sure you keep your head low, way. sir. Keep I'm, your head low. I'm Don't gonna go. Again. Also, I would I'm gonna go punt to the, the first peasant child I see after this for retribution. Well, make also, sure it's after all this is blown over. Arrow sticking out of your back. Uh, that's that'll fix itself with time. I'm not going unless you're a priest, good sir. No, scratch that. Take me there. I, uh... And uh, this time a couple of cars stop you and go, Oi, who that? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Do I even need to say anything anymore? The, uh, a couple of the guards try and stop you, but you just walk past them triumphantly walking towards the archives. And when the guards in the front no, of the no, archives... No, no, I don't walk in to, you know, to question anybody. I'm going to check the board when I go into the archives, of course. So you're just, you, you're holding him above, uh, in the air. You wave to the guards at the front door. You open the door and you just walk in. Don't say anything to anyone and just walk into the Grand Archivist chamber and just... No, not the Grand... Oh, is it in the Grand Archivist chamber? Yes, the notice board that you guys were looking at last time was in the Grand Archivist chamber. No, then I'll say, uh, wait, what was the guy we were supposed to always call if we ever come there? Uh. Little Bearded Dragon Man? I wrote it down. Um, Zilch. Zilch! Where are you? Uh, you see, you hear, come in, my lord, as he begins to, uh, run, but he then trips and falls and tumbles about down two flights of spiral stairs and, and gets laid out in front of you. He goes, uh, apologies, my lord, I would have gone faster, but gravity has a maximum limit. And he said something, he goes, well, who's that? Well, um, I was attacked by this man, and I want to know if he was wanted or not. I, I don't... Do you have any identifying markers? Tattoos? Well, let's pull back the hood and see. <laughs> uh, I pull back the hood. He has a massive dragon tattoo over his left eye. Is this uh, anything well known? This is a massive smuggling gang that belongs. Uh, oh, well, they also tried to kill Ritzian today. This one did. They what? Yes. Uh, his body got away though. It, uh, just... He was hanged up by archery. Oh. We had to run out of the area because a uh, random mage from nowhere we could see was casting spells at us. What? Okay. I was lucky to not fall asleep oh, to myself. Stop. Cease, cease, cease speaking. Please, my lord. I, I don't mean to be rude. I don't want to talk about it. But this man attacked the ambassador. Yes. And none of his personal guard were around? Yes, his personal guard is useless. And the town guard, where was this? Um, it was in the bazaar... District, um, it was a tower in a couple houses, a couple now damaged houses. Uh, okay, well, that sounds like sounds like one of the back streets. Okay, that, that makes a little bit of sense. And how did he attack you? How, oh, how did he manage to just he actually attack the ambassador as it succeeded? He succeeded, he pinned them up onto the tower. How? And this man was one of four. Um, he was one of four. There was an archer with him in armor, chainmail, if I remember correctly. Red. 
Well, they all speak in the oi and mate language, which I think is normal for scum and villainy here. Okay, um, following question. Have... And there were two others that were heading towards the Ambassador District before it was on fire. Oh, that's jolly. Uh, my lord? Yes? I, I would refrain that we go more than two weeks without you bursting in here uncovering some wild, heinous shit. Well, well, I thank you for keeping uh, the Lord Ambassador safe. So, now, for this one, as the dragon tattoo goes, and Liam telling how dare he catch them as boss, I assume that this is one of his men, of the man who was sacrificed today. Uh, I call him Scumbag because I hated him. Uh, what was it? I already forgot his name. Sergio? Yes, Sergio. I think his boss was Sergio. Uh, so Sergio worked under this gang. His gang was affiliated, but not directly linked. Um, my real oh. question is, why a smuggling gang decided to pull a hit on the ambassador today? They said something about him catching his boss. That's uh, okay. I have many questions, but the better one is, and they almost succeeded. Yes. Honestly, I'm not surprised looking at the state of Ritzia. Shaka, have mercy on us all. <clears throat> kind of a pathetic man. Not very good with this sword arm. He's quick, but he's not skilled. I don't... He's an ambassador. It's a miracle he can even really sword. I can direct you to our boy Godry, and he will... He will get the official account. Um, uh, there is a bounty on gang members' heads, but we've never seen this specific one before. Or does he have any other markers that we might be able to use? Well, not really. I mean, I only was attacked by him suddenly. Then everybody was put out, and then I had decided to get Ritzian out of there before more trouble came about. Uh, so here's my first. He goes, can you look over the rest of him for any identifying markers so I might have an idea as to what is going on here? Of it's... course, I search him. Uh, so, you know, you, just, you open his shirt, check his chest, look very cool, like, ink. Uh, however, as you pull back his cloak, you notice on the back of his neck is a tattoo uh, of the Ouroboros eating itself with a knife pointing across his throat. Is this the marker you're looking for? Uh, I was hoping not to see that one today. Uh, um. What what gang is this? That's not a gang. Is that the cult? That's worse. What? What is it? Uh, there's a guild of professional assassins in the Drow Underworld and the Elven Retreats that happen to brand their members with this symbol, but not only do their members receive it, they're siblings, all immediate family, any future spouse, and children almost also being marked with this as to show that they are guild property in case of someone attempting to leave the guild. Is that have something to do with all the deaths recently of an unknown assassin? I fucking hope not! He goes, no, 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 wait, so did, so you said this man used a bow? To attack Ritzium? No, 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 no. He used spells. He was a warlock. Oh, thank God. No, the man who used the bow disappeared. Okay, um... I got him good through the leg, though, so if you see a heavily wounded leg... I, I will look for a disembodied wounded leg sometime when my sanity has slipped from this mortal coil as my better judgment is about to as well. I hit him good with one of my barbed javelins. He should be limping. Uh, what do you mean barbed javelin? Barb Jacqueline. I pull out one of my Barb Jacqueline's. What are these? As uh, are are those beaks from a kraken on it? Yes. What the? Okay. Like I said, my friend, I am well traveled, and if you couldn't tell by the Griffin skull on my shoulder, I am a very good hunter. I have pieced as much together, my friend. Um. Yeah. So. 
as glad as I am that you have brought this man in, I have one thing I must uh, say. It turns out that the notes we have... Uh, this... Well, to put it bluntly, that's this isn't the assassin that we've been having to keep under wraps. Um, no, no, I didn't expect this to be the assassin. I said maybe he's linked to the assassin. I hope not, because if one of their actual master assassins are here, well, we are all... Things will go wrong very quickly. Oh. Well, that being said, um, I'm here to turn this man in so you can question him. I oh, will gladly do that. Uh, um, no, I've got guards. Guards. Hold on. I do want to know if he has a bounty, of course. Uh, the bounty is. He looks over and goes, "The bounty for a gang member brought in alive is fifty gold." So there, there, wonderful. There you go. I hope that is. Do you have a? You don't have room and board yet here, do you? Uh, working with us this often, we might be able to push to get you some citizenship or something. Nice, good boy. You are... Citizenship? I had you would be allowed to own land and not live in a pub as a semi-hobo. I prefer the term mercenary. Mercenary is a line of work. Uh, hobo means you don't have a house. Why do I have a line of work? Well, I guess I am working for a hobo. <laughs> <laughs> the murder hobo works for the hobo. But who is the real hobo? The world may never know. But citizenship might be helpful. It'd be extremely helpful, actually. Because... We can't keep staying in the inn all the time. I will look. I will ask Godry to look into it for you, and um, I wish you fair travels. As well, you and um, I do want to forewarn you. I have an invested interest to keep Ritzian alive. Okay. Which means I'm not leaving the situation. I. S if you uncover some political plot to kill the only ambassador that the human lands have ever sent us, I'm sure there will be a reward in it for you. There's already an incentive. The reward at least brightens my mood that I have to keep that piece of shit alive. <sighs> Anyways, good talking with you, Zilch. Sorry for dropping in with such sudden notice, but then again, how the hell am I going to warn you? Uh, thank you. Um, I'm going to go back to my notes and alert Godry of all that has been learned today. Have, of course. Have also, a good night. I will tell you, get used to the strange. I've noticed I have a habit of coming across it. Good. Uh, in which case you leave. However, while this was going on, as you show up to the bar, Ritzian, well, uh, while it is packed, you don't see Atticus still. He's still strangely absent. And not in his normal milling about and he's gonna, like, he, you've been there for about a couple of minutes and you haven't seen the rat. You also haven't seen Mira or Tojiro. You checked the room and it was empty. Uh, there was a note by the bedstand written in handwriting that was clearly not Tojiro's. That, oh, don't worry about me. I'm out, with, I'm out finding some company for the night. However, that note's been sitting there for the past three days. Hmm. All right. I think we have some missing party members. Um, also, Rakir, please roll perception. I 
gonna use my base of 15. Yes. <laughs> you hear the, you hear a very distinct cocking noise coming from behind you. As you turn, you see nothing. It's as if someone's loading a crossbow. However, looking around, looking upon your surroundings, you notice nothing out of the ordinary. It is a dark night. I even have okay, so I have magical night vision. Don't forget, Mason. Yes, it is a nor. It appears to just be a normal night. A couple of people walking around, but all of them are wearing summer wear. Shorts and you know short trousers and baggy tunics. Nothing that could conceivably conceal a crossbow. Okay. Looks like I'm in a spot of trouble, duck and roll. <laughs> uh, and there's a group of kids playing ball, and one of them, the ball gets kicked towards you. Uh, and so am I? So this this is after I duck and roll, right? Oh, you literally ducked and rolled. Yeah, I ducked and rolled. Like you just tried to jump into an alleyway. Yeah, essentially. Uh, as you jump into the alleyway, you see the kid run past trying to get to his ball. However, suddenly you feel very much like you'd like to take a nap. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, so Akira's going to do his best to stay awake. Please roll a constitution save. Can I roll a medicine save? Uh? Or a medicine check real quickly to try and make a quick... Yes, actually, go ahead. No, you can... So you can roll a medicine check to see if you can figure out what the hell is happening right now. Could I try to do it to make a quick powder to pick me up? Something like maybe, you know, well, first, using the Kraken meat? First, you'd have to figure out what the fuck is wrong with you, bud. Alright. Fifteen. Uh, while you aren't sure as to the strain of what exactly has hit you, you do know that you've just been hit with some form of tranquilizer. However, you don't feel as if anything hit you. You don't know where the, ins the actual site of the injury was made. And what do you have in your inventory? I have a mess kit. I'm I also have Kraken stuff. Kraken flesh and Kraken thorns. Are you going to eat Kraken parts to try and stick to... Is it possible that can wake me up? You know, roll for it. Is there anything I have that I could use to keep me up? Roll Arcana. Roll Arcane? Arcana. Arcana. Oh, you had to do this to me. 13. As you as you th as you you're using your last beats of your heart until you collapse. You remember that in some in the back of your mind, you remember hearing Atticus at one point mention that Kraken tusks were once ground into powder to increase male virility but in the current con in the conversation i'm scuffy and going i had to guess it just increased blood flow to the dick probably does some other funny shit to the rest of your body if you were to actually do it though i'm going to regret this i do it you i make the crack and powder and i take it that is a roll roll what roll for medicine do i get advantage with a mess kit yes Hey! hey! Uh, so, it doesn't stave. So instead of all right, so as you take it, you watch the ba like time. It doesn't like time's still going at a snail's pace, but you're eight. But you can feel it temporarily halted. Awesome. So um, here's gonna walk like he's checking through his pack. On his probably now is it is his dick erect? Is it actually an aphrodisiac? Uh, well, you see the difference is you're a hyena man that's seven foot tall. 
Oh, cool. So my deck is enough. Awesome. No furry shit. Thank you, Mason. <laughs> awesome. So Akira's going to move as quickly as he can to get back into the pub. You, your legs We're are heavy. Side street. Your legs are heavy, and your mind is cloudy. But you managed to stumble to the front of the pub. Can I use a spell to assist me, actually? What spell are you about to use? Let's see here. What can I use, actually? I have multiple things. Um... Shield of Faith. Sanctuary wouldn't work, no. Let's see here. Shield of Faith. No. Thaumaturgy, no. No. Oh, so I'm going to use the Thaumaturgy cantrip to alert Ritzian. How do you plan on doing that one? Which, so which... as I'm outside the bar before I collapse, I'm going to cause a bright flash while trying to scream help. Ronnie, roll perception. Okay. A bright flash inside the bar. Oh, in which case, yeah, you see it. Uh, so oh. as you're sitting at the, talking to the bartender and the barmaidens, suddenly the entire bar just fucking lights up bright white. And you hear, a, and you hear Akir's voice outside with a very weak and murmured, oh. Help, rat, damn it. I be careful. Uh, collapses. My, my my friends are going missing. I'd like to cast invisibility on myself. Go ahead. Ah, uh, yeah. It's 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 just a thing that happens. I'd like to uh, check it out. Uh, that's invisibility on other. Is that does that work on yourself? Yeah, a creature yeah, you touch. Yeah. Oh yeah, because you can use okay. So what's what's the plan, my man? I uh, get to a cure. So mostly. So, you. You slam your hands on the table and jolt up, going invisible as you move. However, as you start to run through the bar, you notice that you're taking steps and not exactly seeing your body move until a second later. The hum on, of the bar t turns into this mellow chattering in the background of... It doesn't feel like you're actually hearing. It feels as if you're just... The noises are just abstract thoughts in the back of your head. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Time is slowing. However, being as you're invisible, you do notice two people seem to have taken specific attention as to what's happened to you. Uh, you can... Well, I'm invisible? Yes. You literally slammed your hands down on the table and jumped up to run out from the front of the bar after you ordered a drink. And you 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 turned to see Fossey, who was a few seats away, uh, hurriedly running to your seat. And out of the corner of your eye, you also see a strange figure. A rat folk wearing a dark black cloak sitting in the back corner of the tavern that you had not previously noticed who seemed to before blend in with the riffraff but you notice that he's be as soon as you went to move he stood up and is now walking out towards the front door do i feel drugged <laughs> yes. Okay. 
Okay. However, you and are does... invisible. All right. Well, uh, uh, here then. I'll go. Uh, the bard, our good Fossey friend, he uh, uh, seems to be very confused at this. He doesn't seem to be. No, he's more. Con he's concerned. You can tell by like okay. reading his face. He is just completely concerned. Then I will uh, invisibly go over to him, say uh, very quietly, just like, I believe we've been drugged. Uh, he goes, he very non, he like perks up for a second and nonchalantly goes, huh, must have been the wind. And he places one hand back, and you feel a sharp pain in your leg as he touches it. And as he sits down at the bar, you suddenly feel the effects of the drug wash away from your body. Wonderful. Uh... May I have that? He's... He goes... Ugh. Oh, Bartender, I think I need to go up to my room. Like somebody goes, oh, do you need help? I'll find my way upstairs on my own. I feel very tired tonight. I don't know what it is. As it washes from my body, can I, like, uh, as he's getting up to go uh, pass that uh, whatever he used into my hand? Uh, he doesn't pass it. He walks to his room without saying anything else. I, as quietly as I can, go over to his room. As soon as you... Abandon me. See how it is. I don't have anything to wake you up. I, okay, so, as you get to his room, you notice that he is sitting on the, like, staring, like, he's looking, like, leaning out the window. And as you open the door, he goes, yeah, your friend's not down there anymore. Great! My whole adventuring party is gone. Well, I have good news, I think. Let's hear it. I think I know who has done this. Something about that uh, rat folk quarter. Well, that rat folk is... There's only one person I've ever heard of that can produce this kind of drug, and in fact, I bought the solution I used on you from him. That was many years ago, and he has supposedly been dead for the past two years, so I have no idea if that is truly him, how the hell he is currently here. Oh, no. No, it can't be. Ronnie, do you know who this is? I know who this is. Ronnie? Maybe? It's Cephas. He just looks... He just... That sounds not right. He just goes... And if that is the truth... I have no idea what he's doing here, as he's documented as having been good friends with the local, with Joel. So we have no idea what the actual fuck is going on right now. But I am quite not a fan of this. I believe I need to find where my companions are. Good luck. There's only been one person who's ever caught that man, and he's also dead. I hope. I've got a horrible idea. 
I don't like where this is going. He, he looks, he goes, if it's what I think you're about to say, I'm going to hit you over the head with my cane really hard. It's a good thing I'm invisible. I was planning on that. Just laying down in an alley someplace. Well, uh, stay here. I will keep watch over you as best I can. I have absolutely no idea what the fuck is going on in this city right now. So that's it then. I'll just pretend the drug worked. You're going to let yourself be captured? I do not know where this see this uh wait wouldn't know his name. Do not know where this rat folk is bringing my companions. It's the best lead I've got. He looks at you and goes, I have an idea if you want to go down that road. You could lock in your room, go on invisible, and then slump yourself over the window. Perhaps he's still nearby waiting to see if he can find you. And you keep watch? I will see if I can keep an eye out, but something tells me if it's the real man that he is going to appear and disappear very rapidly. As long as you know what you're doing. Hooray! I will be waiting by your door. The moment I hear any motion, I will come and do something. Alright. So, as best uh, staggering performance I can uh, provide, I get up to the window and I throw it open and I get just outside before I pass out. Uh, this point... And lose track of the invisibility because that would be me unconscious. You do hear a very sudden commotion in the room. And it is not very quiet as you hear the door fly open and all you hear is Fosse go Oh no, it's you! As you hear three... You hear three objects go whizzing through the air, and then his, him, you hear his body hit the floor. And the next thing you know, you're being hoisted onto someone's shoulder. He walks over towards the bookcase. You hear the sound of him pull a book out and open it. And within an instant, you find yourself in a very dark room with the rest of your friends. And Did they? Who are all just unconscious laying on the stone floor. I have a question, Mason. Uh, was I still unconscious? Well, uh, you conscious. You still conscious. That. Okay. Alright. So, uh, just darkness until the, uh, cage. Well. It's not like you're darker, literally right? in a room with all, like, no one is bound. However, upon hitting the room, you, it feels as if your entire being is bathed in a very soothing, calming sensation. Okay. Is that a long rest? Yes, and <laughs> you're still unconscious. <laughs> However, uh, Ritzian looks oh. up, and he is now, you are at the feet of a very, very old rat man and an equally old chameleon man who seems to very much resemble... Toll. However, his youth 
and Radiance is replaced with just more signs of age than anything else. His scales are chipped, his right eye bears a scar that seems otherworldly. His left eye glows a dark blue, but also a purple, light purple hue around it. He stands hunched over, leaning on a staff, and he speaks very faintly. All you hear him go is, I applaud you, see, this, this time is very much helpful. The rat folk uh, just shrugs and goes, Listen, I was told to do a job, and here I am. I just never thought it would be for you, my old friend. Can I have my crossbow back? And at this point, you know, uh, Toll chuckles and goes, No, it has been interred at the reliquary. As a relic of the heroes, as is befitting you, sir. And he turns to you and goes, I apologize that I had to capture you in such a way. Uh, what? Am I still the only one awake? You're the only one awake. And he goes, I, you, you're clearly not Ritzian, so who are you? To put it simply, I'm the only Ritzian that needs to exist. Ah, I heard disturbing rumors that his family created changelings to be body doubles when he was young. This is horrific evidence, but I'm glad that you've made your way here safe. Your adventures have clearly grown you into a, quite the man. That's quite the man, is one way to put it. He looks and goes, I'm terribly sorry about the state you're currently in. Um, I could fill you in on I don't know, the experiments I, later. Perhaps, uh... This was not, this, I, I promise this will make sense when everyone is awake and I can explain to them why I had to go to such lengths. Uh, when you do walk through the town, do not question why your eulogies will be being read. Um, I, I will fill everyone in when they wake up, but I assure you, this is... This is an extreme measure for an extreme need. We are... Oh, uh, you're probably wondering where you are, right? Um, we're currently in one of the great chambers of the original Shaka, beneath the ziggurat. The original Shaka. Yes, uh... He is the one who came up with this plan today when I summoned him to bless the land, and it made a painful amount of sense. So, should we wait for everyone else to wake up before you reveal the whole... Yes, yes, quite. Um, when everyone is awake, I will... He looks at me and goes, uh... I will have servants bring some tables and chairs and beds in because God knows this is going to take a while. I would like the rest. I did it. Man. Uh, as he walks, he just goes, oh, it's just quite the painful thing. You wouldn't worry. And with that, we're going to wait till we have the full party for the rest of the plot to be revealed.
Bada ping, bada boom. Also, Hooray. also gotta wait on Gavin to get me some fucking art whenever he has free time. Who, buddy? Who, buddy? Who, buddy? Toll's old. Who, buddy? Don't worry. This is literally the entire plot I wrote when I was in Australia, and I wanted to Wasn't find it. Like this, like a guarantee, guaranteed thing. That was going to happen at, like, the end of the uh, last campaign? No, we had talked about it in Lizards Live long enough, along with the fact that being made the the child of it, or the avatar of a deity, gives you an exponential extension to your life. So he was still relatively young at the end of the last campaign. He was only 50. Plus, he'd only shaved a few years off his life by using the... Uh, Hourglass. Yeah. So why is he acting all elderly then? He should be middle aged. Well, there will be an explanation whenever I get oh, the fucking no. art from Gavin. Does this have to deal with the whole flooded nation thing and the war thing? I literally have six fucking pages of notes on this written. Please let me get to it when I have everything written out. Holy crap. Oh, uh, good question. Do we get a long rest? Do I get a long rest? Everyone gets, uh, I'm actually gonna, uh, one second. Oh, do we level up? I always have to ask. It's level six, right? Or is it level five? Oh no, five. Five. Level five. <laughs> Edit that. Edit that. Quick. Run it back. Run it back. Fuck. Now I have to go through all this shit to level up a cleric again. Oh yeah, you gotta get all your third level spells in. Yep. I already have third level spells, don't I? Uh, no, you get them at level five.